Today on The Topping Show, Elon Musk saves daily wire and then purges those who censored them. Target donates to kid-friendly pride events. Senator John Fetterman aide says that he wants to overturn the Second Amendment. U.S. Cardinal says that Americans should give up their guns. YouTube changes their policy around voter fraud coverage. Chase has some technical issues at the bank. Meta Facebook wants employees back in the office. Amazon to offer wireless to Prime members. And Boeing is indefinitely canceling their Starflight. All that and much, much more on The Topping Show. Thank you, everyone, for taking time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see the founder released twice today. Gotta say the guy is quite handsome and brilliant. He's me. That's that's the joke. If you could need a little assistance, reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Now, other interesting media news, YouTube is changing their policy around voter fraud reporting. Now, I'm pretty suspicious because given the background of Google, they're not very altruistic and they're not very nice in terms of they're not doing things just because, oh, yeah, we're going to cater to the right now. We're, we're, we're going to allow a little bit more free speech. That's the antithesis. That's the opposite of all everything they believe in. They want censorship. That's why even key terms in a YouTube video will get you flagged and blacklisted. Now, this policy was first enacted back in 2020, December, right after the election. And they noted that they needed to uh, move more more quickly to suspend videos claiming widespread voter fraud. Now, for those who don't know, that was 2020. Biden got more votes than any other candidate in U.S. president race history. He got more votes than anyone at any time ever, even more than Obama, who is objectively a much more popular president in terms of you'll actually see people with shirts that say his name on it and actually people who believed in that messaging. I have yet to see a single flag that says Biden. And I, I don't even know if they make them, but if you, after that election, if you even hinted that, well, it's, it's a little strange that, you know, in Michigan, you had 200% voter, voter turnout. So you had a hundred people registered again, I'm making up numbers for the example, hundred people were registered as voters, but 250, 300 people voted. And what's this? We have this registration card saying that, um, Bob is registered at this event and he voted this way. We go to that. We go to that address and there's no house. It's just an empty lot. And wait a minute, why, why are we votes just came in at three in the you know he, you know Trump is winning in this county. Then at three in the morning they put boards up on the windows and then the got you know hundreds of thousands of votes for Biden. If you reported anything like that, you are immediately censored, blacklisted, demonetized, demonetized. No questions asked. So usually traditionally, if you make a boo boo on YouTube. They'll give you a strike on your account. And traditionally, if you have three strikes, that means they will demonetize your account and delete it completely. And in this case, if you had anything like that, they would just get rid of you. No warning at all. But why are they reversing it? Is it because they think Trump has such greater odds of winning and now they know a lot of people are going to have, now the people on the left are going to promulgate those ideals? And this is something that people on the left and the right do. After the 2016 election, every day we were told there was Russia interference and there's voter fraud. Every single day, every news channel would hammer that to the pole. Hammer it every minute of the day. And YouTube was okay with that. YouTube encouraged it. Because again, there's people on the left complaining about people on the right. Then 2020, people on the right wanted to do the same thing. As every election, there are, there are concerns about voter integrity. Every single election since the dawn of the of the country's founding, but now they're saying it's okay. And I'm very suspicious why. What's the reason, what's the true reason YouTube is doing this? Time shall tell, but it's a really unusual, interesting development. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Cannot thank you enough. Also, really appreciate when you like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things helps grow and develop the channel. Appreciate the feedback. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell anyone and everyone. Tell your enemies. Remember, just stay safe and fight the good fight.